caring for the vulnerable, protecting the weak, empowering the young, educating the curious, honoring our nation's heroes and first responders. These are the values of Pennsylvania Masons. And these are the missions of our Masonic Charities. Within five Masonic villages across Pennsylvania, we provide a full continuum of retirement living, personal care, and nursing services to more than 3,000 seniors and to thousands of others through home and community-based services. More than 50% of nursing care residents cannot afford the care and services they need, yet live fulfilling lives without worry. Thanks to careful strategic planning and the generosity of donors, Pennsylvania Masons and their loved ones are given priority and cared for without regard to their ability to pay. The staff down at the Masonic Village was tremendous, and in their personal care, I couldn't get better staff than what they have. Them people, these people are fabulous. They take very good care of you. They listen to what you gotta say. They give you good answers. If not, they will find it out for you. But they do take care of you. They always have a good spirit when they come around and talk to you. To my family, there I'm glad I'm here, you know. And they say, because the, they get regular reports, and uh, they keep checking on me and asking me, and I'm telling them, yeah, mm -hmm. And they says, well, so far as we can get from what they're telling us, it's, it's been all right. It's been a good, a good uh, memory. The Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania is exceptional. They are a very charitable and wonderful organization that likes to take care of the people and make things go a lot better for everybody, not just the Masons, but for everybody. The Masonic Children's Home, also in Elizabethtown, provides a caring, safe, and supportive environment for up to 40 school-aged children from unstable socioeconomic environments ensured healthy food, clothing, medical care, tutoring, and guidance, the youth are given a chance to become successful, well-rounded, contributing members of society. I'm originally from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, um, the Allison Hill area, 19th and Bellevue. Um, that's where I'm from. I came to the Masonic Children's Home around, I want to say, 2000 or 2004. I was six years old when I came to the Masonic Children's Home. I went to college at Westchester University and I studied political science. I have uh, my bachelor's degree in political science. I work in the nonprofit sector. Um, right now I'm working for a company called Benefits Data Trust. Um, we help low-income families and senior citizens get signed up for government benefits if they're eligible. One of the people that comes off just the top of my head um, is Mrs. Schaefer, um, and she was responsible for all things education. Like nothing moved in education if it didn't move through her. And the more I grew into an adult, and even stepping into that collegiate level um, of academics, I really started to understand how great of a woman this was. Um, because the things that she was dealing with, managing 30, 35 kids, grades, disciplinary action for the grades, colleges, it's just, it's it was enough for me, and I didn't really even have to do anything, and it was enough for me just um, being on the receiving end of it. So as I got older, I started to really understand, like, wow, the caliber of person that I was dealing with. And that's just one example of many of the people that have worked there. These things that these people were telling me were actually right, you know? For example, you should be 15 minutes early for whatever you show up to. You know, when you're showing up 15 minutes early to a dentist appointment, you're a sophomore in high school, you're like, my goodness, why am I doing this? I could have been sleeping. But when, when you actually get into the real world, those things start to make a difference, you know? You may have a, a, an opportunity, you may make a connection because you're in a building 15 minutes earlier than any other applicant, you know? It's just little things like that, that until you fully mature, you can actually start to appreciate. And not to say that I'm fully mature, I'm still a work in progress, but I'm just very grateful for everything that's come from there. The Pennsylvania Masonic Youth Foundation developed leadership and character among Pennsylvania youth 
through resources, training, conferences, and adult volunteerism. The foundation also offers valuable training to teachers, counselors, and other youth leaders and caregivers on current topics such as mental health, social media use, and drug abuse. Thanks to donors, the foundation offers scholarships, grants, and loan opportunities to Masons, their families, and members of the Masonic-related youth groups in Pennsylvania. Every DMLA chapter has a position called the Master Counselor that's essentially sort of like the president of that DMLA chapter. So uh, I was the Master Counselor of my chapter in Elizabethtown. Uh, and actually later I went on to be the State Master Counselor of Pennsylvania. So um, served at the state level, so that meant uh, helping plan some of the statewide events like our convention and things like that, as well as going to visit a lot of the state, the other chapters all across Pennsylvania. I built a strong um, group of friends, a lot of which I'm in contact with even today. Uh, and another thing is that um, the adults really treated you like a young man, not like a kid. So uh, with a lot of the leadership opportunities and things like that, there was a chance to really actually do the work as a kid. So like planning events and things like that, it was on us as the young men of the organization to do that. And in a lot of cases, if it didn't go well, you know, the, the adults were always there to make sure nothing bad happened, but you know, we had the chance to fail. We had the chance to, to do it on our own and kind of learn and grow in that. And I feel like that really helped me going forward. I feel like I've taken a lot from it. So um, from a skills perspective, I feel like the ability to speak in public well was something that I definitely learned. So when you're the master counselor or the state master counselor, the goal is to serve your chapter or the state. So listening to those people, understanding what they need and how to, to serve them, like that's another thing I think really helped me as I manage a team of people now in my day-to-day -day job. Like, it's not about being the boss and telling people what to do. It's about kind of getting people in the right seats on the bus. It's about serving people and, and how you understand their needs and you know, leading from like a servant leadership perspective. The Masonic Library Museum showcases the past, present, and future of Pennsylvania Freemasonry. It is located within the majestic Masonic Temple in Philadelphia, home of the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania and several local lodges. A national historic landmark, world renowned for its architecture, the Masonic Temple hosts more than 14,000 visitors from around the world each year. Walking through the halls of this temple, uh, you just feel surrounded all the time. You're surrounded by, by the men who walked through the same path as we have. And it's, it's, it's just a tremendous relaxing uh, feeling of, of joy and pride when you go through the halls of this uh, uh, Masonic temple. The Masonic Library and Museum of the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania is unique in its existence among Masonic jurisdictions throughout the country and, and the world. It preserves that heritage, it preserves our history, and more importantly, it makes it accessible to the brothers who really want to seek and know more about uh, the traditions and the history of this fraternity. It has served me over my 15 years of being a Mason tremendously uh, because you can imagine uh, if you're an avid reader, the cost of books can, can be uh, very high. And to be able to receive any book in, in the library and museum is a tremendous wealth and a tremendous resource for our brothers. And it only takes an email or a phone call to the staff at the library and museum and their help has been tremendous. I've came across some information that I wouldn't have been able to find on my own without their help, and that on itself is an added value uh, free of charge, again, including in the dues that every member pays in Pennsylvania, and I urge everyone to take advantage of that. It is my duty to try to preserve it for those to come later because the benefits have been tremendous, and I believe that uh, if I enjoyed it, if I benefited from it, someone a hundred years from now is going to also benefit and enjoy from it. That makes it all the worth of preserving. The Masonic Outreach Program provides free information and education on community and healthcare services, as well as government programs. 
Outreach coordinates several additional services specifically for Pennsylvania Masons, their families and widows, including providing and orchestrating financial support for those experiencing hardship, as well as free legal and financial advice from Masons willing to volunteer their time. But he was always very proud of being a Mason. We were married almost 48 years when he passed suddenly of a heart attack. And uh, we had a very, very congenial marriage. We were very happy and I was, the Lord provided the right person for me because he was very good to me. My hairdresser that I spoke of earlier, uh, she contacted me and she had just gone through losing her husband to a stroke. And she said, are you aware that the Masonic Lodge offers special help for widows or people in, within the Lodge family? They contacted me right away and told me what I would need to do to go through the application process. And I must say they have been absolutely wonderful to me. I feel that it's the helping the widows through the brotherhood is has really gave me a little more security uh, i don't have to always wonder am i going to be able to pay this bill am i going to be able to pay that bill because i could through the brotherhood provide myself with food and that what i would pay for food i could pay the other bill we were going to meet once a year uh, over at Sorrento's in Hershey and have lunch together, the Widows Guild. We met the first year, couldn't meet the second year because of COVID, and we just met about two weeks ago. So it's just a nice way of getting together with women of common interests and morals and everything that I enjoy being around. And, so it's meant a lot to me because I'll, every once in a while I'll get a phone call from somebody that I only saw there and they'll just say, how are you doing? Pennsylvania Masons, their families, and Masonic Youth Group members are eligible for membership in the Masonic Blood and Organ Donor Program, which offers cost-free blood replacement on a nationwide basis. The program also provides support and education to members and their families going through the organ transplant process. They said he had cirrhosis of the liver. He couldn't uh, function really and went and signed up for a transplant. They were sure he would qualify, but it would be six and a half years before he would get a liver. Went back to our doctor, they said no good because with six and a half years he would be dead by that time. We uh, come home one day and Free Mason came. He's reading and he said he runs into the room and he said, oh my God, look here the blood and organ program for the Masons. They have, they have liver transplants, they have kidney transplants. Who do we call? So we called uh, down to Elizabethtown and they gave us Bill Soloway's name. Well, he contacted us immediately. Uh, he's been a godsend. He helped us through everything. He himself is a heart transplant patient. I owe my life to him because he had the answers. He had answers to questions that I didn't know were questions. The gift of life house was, was very, uh, uh, Bill had suggested that, and like I said, Gene got in touch with, with those people, uh, spent the time when I was getting my liver. And it's nice that, um, that I knew she was being taken care of. He had a liver in July, so July of 2018. And uh, that was very successful, except they uh, also injured his kidney, so he lost all kidney function. But he did have a liver, so he was on dialysis for a year and a half, and they finally found a kidney for him. He had a kidney transplant. That's gone very well. He had that done in 2020, and uh, he's done very well since. That, that's one thing in the hospital. They, they uh, wanted to know how many people could I call on and ask, you know, for help, and I said to them like 30, and, and the answer was, nobody has 30 people they can call. And I said, I do. 
I, I truly do. Pennsylvania Masons honor our military, veterans, and first responders in many ways. Through the Help for Our Heroes program, our lodges have raised more than $1 million, which has gone to hosting military baby showers and providing needed home repairs and telemedicine for military families and adapted bicycles for injured veterans. These people literally are like, we don't know you, but your family. And that's a great way to be treated, especially when, again, you don't have anybody nearby. It's, it's, it gives you go, okay, there are somebody other, there's others, pe other people here too that, that care. We got the stroller set with the car seat. I know we got the, um, the Bye Bye Baby gift card. We got a box of stuff from Phillips. I, I think there was a baby monitor in there, breast pump. It makes you feel like somebody cares and lets you be a part of something bigger and to see other women going the same, <laughs> same route as you and maybe having the same health issues during their pregnancy and just, they make you feel special by going, look, you're not alone. We're here for you. Here's some awesome stuff for your baby. Congratulations. Uh, he is active duty Air Force. Um, he he was a C-130 loadmaster. He was a KC-10 boom operator, and now he's with the CRS at, uh, CRW doing um, contingency stuff. So he didn't know that people cared like this, and because his his outlook on society at that time was not great, and. And he's like, oh, there's people that actually care. And it actually prompted us to do a lot more giving. How will you make your mark on the future? What will your legacy be? Whatever your answer, Pennsylvania Freemasonry and its Masonic charities can help you achieve it.